it seemed to me that we had been reduced to a situation that all the thing was about was the number of people that were in the stadium and the, and the amount of money that everybody was making. But the thing about stadiums generally is that you don't really, can't really hear very well. And you really can't see very well, except on the video screen. But stadium rock is not very good for the performer. I don't think it's very good really for the, for the, uh, for the audience either, really. But it's like something that we're stuck with. It's a pity. You have to make it big enough so it's, it, it takes the stadium over. It takes the stadium and makes it into something completely different. It's to get to the position of not having a little tiny shed, a little tiny stage like the Beatles had in Shea Stadium. back here a little while ago asking me how often you chaps wash your hair once a week twice you know any time it's like when we get a cut you know there's no set time paul yes. i think your name is paul right yes it's paul you are a favorite in toronto <laughs> oh, uh, I think it's good... no i think your good looks that go along with it gee uh i'll get to you get to i know you know they say the right thing to do let's go let's go There's something that worked better in a more intimate surrounding. Mm. It worked far better indoors than it did outdoors. There was absolutely no control there. I mean, the people who were supposedly controlling it were outlaws. They were renegades. They were the hell's angels, for Christ's sake. By 1972, the next time the Stones toured, they had security to the max. The violence at Altamont changed stage presentations forever. Barriers had to be erected. Rock stars needed to be protected from their audiences. It's a piece of music theater which essentially is about um, an alienation that I felt between a rock band and an audience. It became an autobiographical piece, and it became, in general terms, about the way people build walls around themselves when they get hurt bit by bit as they go through their lives. Rock and roll has always been the sound of revenge. And that's our revenge, is to take all this bullshit that's coming at us in this wave of information. So we're going live to the planet tonight. Let's see what we got on TV.